Right now at five, new details on the Cleveland County man who claimed to have a bomb in the nation's capital. We have the court documents from a hearing that just happened a few hours ago in D.C. And those documents say a witness told authorities in Cleveland County about Ray Roseberry and Roseberry's possible intentions before he made the trip. There are also details on what investigators found in Roseberry's truck. Fox 46's Derek Dellinger is live in Cleveland County this afternoon with the details. Derek, what have you been able to find out? Well, we've been able to find out, at least through those court documents, that that witness apparently was a relative of Roseberry's, and that relative was worried about some of the things that he was saying. Now, uh, that witness did t tip off Cleveland County deputies, who then tipped off the FBI. Now, it didn't necessarily stop what happened yesterday in D.C., but authorities, federal authorities, at least had a good idea of what was happening by the time that it was going on. Now, the documents say that the witness told authorities that Roseberry had started expressing anti-government views and was wanting to make a trip to Virginia or D.C. with violent intentions. Among some of the things that was revealed, he had recently bought a trench coat, which he believed would protect him from taser fire and pepper ball guns. And once he did start his standoff with authorities, that can that he was holding up that Roseberry said was a bomb in some of those videos was actually an old rusted can with an unknown powder at the bottom of it. Roseberry did eventually give himself up to authorities. Now, all this leads us back here to Cleveland County, where we got a look at the scene that is still out in front of Roseberry's home out on Blacksburg Road. This is as close as we were able to get today. The road is still blocked off. The FBI and the ATF, along with Cleveland County deputies, they have been out at Roseberry's home since yesterday afternoon looking through all of of his property just to find any clues as far as uh, what happened there, at least uh, at least on scene there in Grover and how it compared with what's happening in D.C. Now, we had a chance to talk with some who live nearby to all this. They say this is the last thing they expected to see in their neck of the woods. I see the truck all the time, yeah. you know, at the store just yeah. passing. So, but, no, I didn't think nothing like this would ever happen around here. Now, we've been able to get some additional information on Roseberry from the uh, court hearing as well. Uh, he is going to be undergoing a medical screening, and he's ordered, being ordered, at least right now, detained without bail. Live in Cleveland County, Derek Dollinger, Fox 46. All right, Derek, thank you so much.